Hey there. In this short recording, we're going to take a look at a little known feature in SQL Server that is helpful for troubleshooting performance problems. In this tutorial, we're just going to look at high CPU utilization. One of the capabilities with SQL Server out of the box, you have a bunch of built-in functionality and under the master database, what we're going to explore today is a concept called dynamic management views. Dynamic meaning that they're going to be up to date and give us some real site time insights to what's happening in our database. So if we look under system views, and of course this is all well documented on Microsoft's website, but to give you an idea, you'll see these DM underscore views, and these are the ones that we're going to look at. Uh, we're going to look at one in particular today, or actually two in particular, that's going to help us troubleshoot performance issues. So prior to starting this tutorial, I ran basically an endless loop for a while on my environment, basically here where I just ran a select statement over and over again and let it run for a bit. And then what I wanted to do was I wanted to see what was causing my CPU on my computer to be overwhelmed or to be overworked and troubleshoot my SQL Server environment. So we set some criteria up in terms of, you know, what is what are we going to look at that we'd consider a CPU under stress. So we could put alerting and monitoring in our environment to notify us. And we can look at things like processor time over 80%, processor queue length greater than two. Uh, and if those criteria hit, we could run a query on SQL Server to find out what's occurring at that time. And what we're going to look at is we want to look at high execution count and total worker time. And if we divide the two, the worker time, by the execution count, we can find out things that are the average utilization per execution. So if it's a something that takes a lot of resources when you utilize it. So with execution count, it's essentially what it says, how many times it's been executed since last compile. With total worker time, it's the amount of CPU time in microseconds, but only accurate to the milliseconds that was consumed by the executions of the plan since it was compiled. So here with the, dyna the dynamic management views, we're going to look at this one, dynamic, um, dynamic management view, exec query stats, and exec SQL text, okay? Because what we want to use is get the actual text that's being executed. And we're going to basically bring those two together, okay? Uh, and we're going to order this by total worker time. We can change what we order it by. And many times you might just say, show me the top 10, top 50, whatever would be ideal to see what's taking so long and using, utilizing your resources. So we run this query, and I've already run the results here below, but I'll highlight and execute it. And you'll see here that my endless loop was causing my performance problem on my system, or would come up at the top of the list, because essentially it wasn't the highest per execution, this other built-in background procedure was running on my system, but you can see I've executed it the most. So if you're wondering, are you getting hit with a lot of activity on one particular call, query, procedure, uh, this will help you identify it. And you can use this for performance tuning. You can use this for troubleshooting. So again, dynamic management views. I'll be doing some other tutorials on other useful ones, but this is for troubleshooting CPU. and. For your knowledge, and I'll put this in the comments, here's the Microsoft link on system dynamic management views that you can check out other ones and the documentation about these two. I hope you found it helpful and hope you use this in troubleshooting your performance issues. Please consider following me. Reach out, uh, professorwolf.com or profwolf at professorwolf.com should you have any questions or would like to see additional tutorials. Thank you.